Hi guys! Today, myself and Stephanie are answering your beauty cues. We're, we're giving them some A's. Mm -hmm. That kind mm -hmm. of sounds rude. I always think that sounds rude. Why? A's. I don't know why. A's? It's What's like, why is A bad? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> so in case you missed it, we've already recorded tutorials for the looks that we are wearing. My tutorial went up on Stephanie's channel. Mm -hmm. Stephanie's tutorial went up on my channel. We'll have them linked in the description box if you're curious on how we created these looks. But today we're answering your questions. So we just put it out on Twitter, Instagram, and Snapchat. Mm -hmm. And yeah, we're just gonna go through them now and hopefully give you some good answers. Depidemic asked, do you ever feel self-conscious in a bad way about wearing makeup, about wearing a kind of makeup look in certain situations? Uh, you do? I do, yeah, I really do. Really? Mm. Never. Yeah, I feel like, especially if it's a daytime thing, mm -hmm. um, like I went to the races yesterday and it was daytime and I didn't want to look like I was wearing a lot of makeup, mm -hmm. but like I wanted to wear enough that my look was complete, if you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. But I didn't want the makeup, like what looks good at nighttime, for example, doesn't always look good at daytime mm -hmm. and it can look like real harsh. Yeah. So I was very conscious of that and then in a day, and also with foundations, it'll look really different in like indoor lighting to how it actually looks on your skin outside with the natural lighting. So I get very yeah. self-conscious about that, to be honest. Huh. I just never even think about it. Really? <laughs> I just, yeah. I feel like a lot of the time I go through life like, la la la. Like, I need to take a leaf out of your book. <laughs> I think I just put my makeup on and then I don't think about it, which is why I never like bring makeup with me to touch up or anything. I'm just like, it's on, it's done, whatever. And because I've been, I've been wearing like crazy makeup for like 10 years because I worked on makeup counters like I worked for MAC mm -hmm. and you know they would do like trend days on Saturday where you would have to wear like yeah. the most outrageously ridiculous makeup and then I would just go to the pub straight <laughs> after work with my mates and there was one day I remember we did anime makeup where I had like um, I had white eyeliner like down under here all filled in with false eyelashes on the top of my cheekbones and like I looked ridiculous and I was just like yeah screw it I'm just gonna go to the pub and my friends oh were my like God. I can't even look at you you look yeah. so ridiculous and I was like I don't care I can't see it <laughs> see that is such a good attitude to have though yeah that's a good attitude to go through life with I think yeah I think yeah just do like, what you want yeah who cares what people think Natalia Rosa says love that you're taking questions and I love your videos here is my question how do I keep my mascara from smudging under my eyes I've tried many different brands and they all do that making me look like I have dark circles under my eyes mm. What's your opinion on this? This is a really interesting one because I feel like it happens to some people more than others. Mm. And I think it's down to the shape of your eyes. Mm. Cause some people's lashes, if you've got very straight lashes and maybe eyes that are a little bit sunken, like I actually have quite sunken eyes, um, your lashes rub off your skin a little bit more. So it's really difficult to stop the mascara from rubbing off. Mm. I would just say, you've probably already tried this, but I would say waterproof mascara. Um, and then really setting your under eye area with yeah. like even maybe putting like some eyeshadow primer on underneath your concealer Do your concealer and then setting it with some powder just to make sure it's not creamy at all under there So the mascara won't like rub off and transfer quite so much But honestly, that's not a problem that I've ever suffered with so I'm not sure if I'm really the best person to answer that mm -hmm. I don't know, what, what would you suggest? Like my opinion on this is the same kind of thing. So if your lashes do tend to touch the skin underneath your eyes, um, it's bound to happen. And the thing is, even if you use a waterproof mascara, it's not necessarily oil proof. So if mm. you have like an oily eye area, the oil is gonna break down the makeup and it's going to end up where you don't want it to end up. So my tip would be make sure you keep that area as oil free as possible and keep it dry. So even if it means you have to take like a little blending brush and a translucent powder out with you, mm. just to touch up underneath the eye area and make sure it's dry and oil free. That's a great tip. That should help somewhat. This is kind of a specific one, but one that I actually get asked a lot. This is from Corey123 on Snapchat. She says, I'm 14 and have combination skin. Do you know any full coverage drugs or foundations? I'm from Ireland and there's not much selection here. Love you. Love you too. Um, first of all, I would say if you're 14, I know when you have bad skin, it's really tempting to wear full, full, full coverage foundations, but I kind of wouldn't recommend wearing full, full coverage foundations. Um, just, I just don't feel like, I think it's a, I don't know, I don't know how I'm gonna, how I can say this without like offending people, but I feel like it can be a bit of a crutch, especially when you're young and you shouldn't worry about it that much. You shouldn't worry about having to have flawless skin all the time, especially when you're 14. Um, mm. Like even now, if I have breakouts, yes, there are days where I want to have full coverage skin, but it's not every day and sometimes I walk out 
with breakouts and no foundation on and that's that's perfectly fine too so I, I suppose I'm just saying don't feel like you have to have flawless skin but to answer your question from the pharmacy in Ireland something like the Revlon color stay that's what I was gonna say yeah mm. that's a really good option it's really full on coverage and it sets and it lasts so it's really good if you do have oily skin which you probably do if you're getting the breakouts so yeah yeah oh you could answer this one so Jennifer underscore R says, I'm a natural redhead and very pale. Any tips on bronzer and contouring? Yes, yes. <laughs> you have come to the right place. <laughs> uh -huh. This is my speciality. So contouring, there's a couple of different products that I really, really love to use. First of all, um, one that I feel like is a little bit easier to get a hold of is Max Omega eyeshadow. It's an mm -hmm. eyeshadow, first of all, but it's like a really taupe kind of gray brown color which is perfect for fair skin it's not it's not bronze it's not red also sephora if you have a sephora near you they do a contour powder called tranquil which is a nice kind of not too pigmented kind of taupey gray color as well and then for bronzer actually one of my favorites one of my favorite things to do if you've got really fair skin and you're really terrified of bronzer is to find a powder like a setting powder or a powder foundation that's just a couple of shades darker than your skin so i really like to use the mac mineralized skin finishes or even mac studio fix powder or even actually something like this the maybelline fit me from the drugstore something that has a little bit of coverage in it that's just a few shades darker than your skin use that as your bronzer because you just want something that's going to give you a little hint of color and if you're really fair it doesn't need to be dark so if you go and use like a regular bronzer it's just going to be way too dark and way too orange on you um yeah so a powder that's a little bit darker than your skin oh i love this question but do I have an answer? I'm gonna let you answer it first. <laughs> Biggest overhyped beauty product that everyone loves and you didn't. Oh boy. I love that question, but I'm gonna have to think about it for a minute. Oh man, me too, hang on. The one I can think of off the top of my head is the Hourglass um, Ambient Lighting Powders. Oh really? Yeah, I feel like they were, actually everything I've tried from Hourglass, I really like the idea of it, but I just haven't liked the products. Maybe I'm just using them wrong, but there was the um, Immaculate, Oh, you know that matte foundation from Hourglass? Oh yeah, I never actually tried that. I tried that and it was horrific on me, so cakey, could not get it to work, I took it back. Um, oh, but nice. I actually kept the ambient lighting powder uh -huh. and I never ever reached for it because it just, it's a kind of nothing powder for me, like it's not a highlight. You can't put it all over your face, especially if you do have like oily enlarged skin. pores or oily skin. So yeah, everyone adores it and I just don't. Hmm. Mm. So mine is Milani's Luminoso. So this is, it's one of their baked blushes. People rave about this on YouTube. And I got it in, when I was in New York, you can't, you can get Milani delivered here if you are actually wanting to buy this. <laughs> Milani's website do deliver to Australia. But when I was in New York, I found it in a drugstore. I was so excited. I was like, oh my God, it's in stock. I bought it, couldn't wait to try it on. And it's just like, it's nice, but it's not amazing. People, I feel like, on, maybe on a darker skin tone, this is a gorgeous, like, really subtle blush with a nice highlight. On me, it's quite orangey and peachy, and it's not kind of enough highlight for me. It's a little bit too soft. It's just, it's a nice blush, but it's not half as amazing as people have raved about it and made it out to be, so. So that is all the questions that we're gonna answer in my video. We still have tons to go through, though. You guys have sent us absolutely heaps of questions, um, but we're gonna answer some more over on Stephanie's channel. So if you wanna see the rest of this Q&A, head over, <laughs> I'll have the video linked on the screen here and also in the description box and while you're over there subscribe because she's amazing and you will love her thanks so we really hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching guys and don't forget to check out the tutorials I'll have them linked yes. down below as well and we'll see you very soon bye, bye.